Zazel, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Meanwhile, in Amordica, it does not look too good for them. Does Amordica have any friends is part of the question here. If we just go and click on them this way. Nope, because they're still a freaking colony. Um, where's their army? 20,000. How much money does Amordica have? This would be the concern for them. Are they receiving any money from anybody? Uh, nope, Amordica has no friends. 21,000. I mean, they're still maintaining their army somehow. Probably because uh, a lot of their money is going to be concentrated in this area, I suspect. I forgot the Hamburg at New York. I approve. Meanwhile, Huron are offering peace. That's just money. A lot of money, admittedly, but that's not territory. Which would allow them to stay in the fight. Well, depending on how much Huron's actually done to them. Huron's taken the northernmost territories. It does look like Amordica is getting into a position to fight against Choctaw and co. How much manpower do they have? They have none. So this is most likely mercenary? No, no mercenaries. So again, they've allowed themselves to be tapped for manpower. They do still have professionalism, which they could use if they felt they needed to. Meanwhile, over here, the Russians have rallied for another go. It does look like that they're going to go for Brosiask right now, or whatever this place was called. Bob Rusk. Uh, 100,000 marching in, Prussia being the first to notice, although not all of the Prussians coming in. 40,000 against 56. Prussia is at a minus one because of the fort. Uh, but the Russians coming in with some real numbers, doing that initial just surge of damage. The Austrian force is not holding very firmly, although there is a big wave of infantry moving in to reinforce that. Uh, it does look like their artillery has taken a bit of a beating in the back line, though. Oh, no, that's just the Prussian color. They haven't actually been defeated. So it's 170,000 against 155,000. The Russians still have another 50,000 on the way. Uh, Commonwealth has a couple. Hamburg staying out of this one. But really, the HRE just needs to bring in numerical superiority. Yes, they have the Prussians, but the Prussians don't seem to be quite enough to just deal with the Russians. And they are taking a huge amount of damage, though that is probably the Austrian front line, although right now it is the Prussian front line, and the number of men that they are losing has been dramatically reduced as a result, because the Prussians have that 50% war uh, infantry combat ability, and then the Commonwealth take over the front line, the Prussians being pushed out, and they are now losing 5,000. You can see the difference that the infantry quality makes there. 8,000 a tick! Oh, man! That was painful, and then Russia turning this one around and taking the victory. But Russia is definitely paying for their continued survival in blood. Meanwhile, the Swedes have dedicated all of their forces to taking out Viborg. I do wonder if the Russians are going to notice the danger and turn around and try and take it. Uh, Sweden might want to press the advantage here, especially if they notice the Russians starting to move north. And I think the Russians are going to have cottoned onto the danger 49%. I'm not sure that Sweden's going to make that. Meanwhile, over here, we have the Timurids who continue to push into Uran. Uran have managed to tap a bit more manpower, probably from professionalism, although they are now out. They will not be able to press that button again. Uh, Timurids still have a fair amount. Japan have a bit. And then Texas have none. So Texas are completely out of resources. Have your aunt started using mercenaries yet? Yeah, I really hope to see some mercenaries. Nope, still no mercenaries in production or in use by your aunt. They're very much relying on their last tick of uh, professionalism and also just their allies. Uh, the numbers have even somewhat 200,000 against 244. Although I remember those heady days when your aunt had 100,000 more than Timurids. Russia with the best generals, and it shows. Yeah, Russia spends a lot of time rolling for new commanders. I mean, Prussia has some pretty good ones, 4653. But Russia, 54, yeah, they're about the same. I think it's mostly the quality of the Commonwealth front line. It's just not that strong. Commonwealth have a plus 10. Russia only has a plus 10. I'm actually surprised that Russia's doing as much damage as they are with their infantry. Sweden with a plus 30. Prussia with a plus 50. And then Austria with a plus 10. But these guys have a lot of professionalism, meaning that they should be inflicting more damage. damage. Mistakes were made. How so? How so? They took so much of Finland that I'm the fifth great power. Meet my new ally, Hindustan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've split to fifth. Fair enough. Using that against them. 
So Hindustan is exiled. <laughs> So how do you think the war's going for you at the moment? Uh, it's starting to hurt. I'm, I'm down, I mean, I've started off with 100,000 manpower. I'm down to 21, but I haven't re reduced any of my recruiting standards or anything. Uh -huh. But I've won most of the battles. And I'm inflicting at least two to one casualty rates. At least. I mean, I've seen some of those ticks where they're taking 8,000 casualties per tick. That was oh painful. Yeah, Fortress Russia is working out the way I wanted it to. So, and it has really proven the strength of forts at the moment. Like the 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 main reason you are as whole as you are is because your forts have held. Yeah, and I and I only build forts on provinces that should have forts. Mm -hmm. They give me uh, pen uh, abilities. So, yep. And you're using the edicts to build up the defensiveness. They have to hold even longer. Even against the oh, Dutch, yeah, yeah. you do have really good fort cracking ability, but they, they've just not been able to bring it together enough. Yeah, I'd hate to see how much admin I've spent on force marching to get to places. Is it admin or military? It's admin. Really? That's changed. At least I'm pretty sure it's admin. I don't know. I've had no, it easily. Military. Cost two per province military power. So this me having to basically board trains to get my ass all the way from Asia to here because I, I, I force marched my entire army over here to try to get here before the ports fell. Oh man, that, that's a lot of military right there. Yeah, and but I think I'm still ahead on tech on them, so I think they're gonna pull back because I'm 160 in mil tech ahead. So I'm guessing they're gonna pull back and uh, lick their wounds for a little. Yeah, I mean you dealt some pretty substantial damage to Sweden. Sweden abusing the fact that they could take out Finland. Though, to be fair to them, they did declare war on you, even though they didn't technically need to. Yeah, I, I, and honestly, it's like, it's funny because them, Finland not calling me in kind of screwed me because they were allowed to eat so much of Finland, right? Mm -hmm. And you would uh, use Finland as a... Uh, that's why I think it's uh, funny because yeah. they ate so much of Finland. Yeah. It lets me ally you, uh, Hindustan and bring them in. Yep, it's pretty amusing. So that's definitely something we want to raise with Paradox. Like, that's a clear bug right there. That that shouldn't have happened. So so Yuan's trying to get me to pay him off. <laughs> he wants me to pay him money. I gotta say, I'm impressed with how well the Timurids are doing against Yuan, Japan, and Texas. Yeah, once we, we won that one big battle and gave him kind of a troop advantage, and I was like, you know, and it's him and... Uh, them are like you know trying to keep a fantasy he's just supposed to keep them busy but i think yuan's got serious uh financial difficulties i mean i couldn't comment one way or another about that yeah which is like i said i'm assuming he has financial and that 20 stack that got the black flag that was because he that was my conduct carry that i was hiring from him and once he joined the war he got black flag because he was over here gotcha so, but uh, I'm kind of, I really want to see how many casualties have died to this in this war. Hey, Mordred, um, Slurfin's here, so Calico's dropping to let Slurfin take his nation back. Again. Okay, sounds good. Um, so you want to know how many casualties against you? Either both, <laughs> but you can't really tell me because until after the war. But oh, does I it... think I've taken at least one hundred and fifty thousand, probably. It shows, doesn't it show you? Oh, no, it shows me, yeah. So for me, I have lost 200,000. Yeah, in the Euron War, you've lost 326,000 to combat. combat. 96, that was mostly from the first session when I was on one hour sleep in like in a 48-hour uh, period. Then against Sweden, you've lost 160. Against Prussia, you've lost 160. And against the Euron... Yeah, you lost the... Wait, this is always saying 106. No, that's how many you got. God damn it. Against Sweden, you lost 200,000. Against Prussia, you've only lost 13. And against Uran, yeah, you lost the 326. <laughs> Some really big <laughs> numbers, though. Crikey. And the amazing is, I still have manpower. Yep. And I haven't, and I haven't had to reduce my professionalism yet. 1.4 million soldiers have died in the Timurid conquest of Yashikul. 
That's a lot. That's ridiculous. <laughs> many Russians have died for... Oh, many everythings have died in that one. Like 642,000 on your side, 522,000 on theirs. I'm kind of curious how much attrition they've taken in these wars. Well, that's the thing, because I don't think attrition is showing properly. Because Euron have been the ones that have been sieging Timurid's forts, and they've apparently taken zero attrition when I watched them take attrition. So that's not ah, that's, that's... properly. Well, since we're loading people in, I am going to go grab water while okay. I have a chance. Yep. Best of luck in the continuing wars. Hey, Zay. Strasky get extra fire damage and Russia takes less fire damage. That can go a long way. Oh, did they take less? That I didn't realize. I knew the Strasky did more. Why is Russia so strong? It has no reason to be. I think it's just the fact that this is made by a Swedish company and they're pissed about Russia beating Sweden in the Northern War. So they're like, we have to make Russia stronger. Make them in comparison better. I'm joking, by the way. Russia needs to go to the last bastion against capitalist aggression. Spice! <laughs> Definitely one of the best moments of Red Alert. <laughs> This is why Russia needs the uh, Trans-Siberian Railway. Yeah, they do. One of the reasons I was so grateful that they built the Trans-Siberian Railway in my Japan game. Because I was able to use it against them. Seventh Russian idea is plus 5% morale and 10% fire received reduction. Okay, that's a lot. And Mordica seems to have survived. At least they've pieced out Chotak. We'll take a look at uh, a Mordica's situation in a moment. Russia makes no sense. Poor peasant infantry are now Russia space marines. I think it's just the difference between Russia versus Muscovy. Muscovy, yeah, they're just all about numbers. But once they formed Russia, this is supposed to be post-Peter Russia. And for this age, it's too early. I think that the Russian bonuses should have been a age bonus as opposed to a national bonus. I think that would have made more sense. Because then you would actually have the Russian reforms. Or an event. Do it by event. So mad I overslept and missed this. Charles, you can still join. Like, we got Slurfin joining right now. Jump in. Hello. Hello. Did I take a moment while we're loaded in? Sure. So how's it going? It's good. I'm definitely enjoying all of the wars. I'm, like, going from one side of Russia to the other going, okay, they're fighting Iran. Okay, now they're fighting the uh, HRE again. Oh, no, they're fighting Iran again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Definitely a lot going on. 1.4 million have died in the Iran conflict. That does not surprise me at all. Yeah, it's just massive stacks versus massive stacks. Slightly less in yours, but still yep. no less impressive. And the the fight I saw there where you guys were taking 8,000 dead a tick. Yeah. Ooh, yep. that, that, that was painful. It was. It's a painful war. It'll, it'll, be, it'll do what it's going to do. So, yep. let's see. I think you timed it right, like Russia was so busy with Uran. It looked like the the balance could have tipped either way. Timurids have actually done a really good job staying well, in we that were, fight. We were... Oh crap, what just happened? Just, just finished loading. Just finished loading, but I got something about a disconnected player. Uh-oh. Uh, uh... Slurfin. Oh yeah, Slurfin's back in this Prussia. Um, so Calico dipped out because Russia could go back in. Mm-hmm. Uh, striker from K. Calico has just pointed out that Russia does have a 6 6 leader. I hadn't noticed that. I'd seen their 5 4, and I was like, yeah, it's okay. But yeah, 6 6. That explains a lot. Yep. I'm fighting well. I think we have everybody. I don't know what that message was about. It was just in the box as I clicked start start game again, so it's weird. Yeah, we were actually planning on this for a while. Uh, We wanted to do it last session, but then Prussia was not available and so that kind of put everything on hold there because we wanted them to be involved so do you want to on pause yep. by the way yep we're gonna pause now so just want to let you know i'm gonna go back to my chat too yep good luck hello hello um i just thought i'd i'd been watching the amodica war while yes so what's happened over there i see he's pieced out choctaw so he's got a bunch of his territory back 
Yeah, well, Choctaw wasn't the war leader. Iroquois was, and Iroquois is an OPM. Ah. So he so he just went and full occupied the OPM and got a white piece. Makes sense. Um, the other thing he's done is he's take it, taken the war goal and he's now marching on Huron's capital because whilst most of the armies that he's facing are not Huron, Hur again, Huron's the war leader. Mm -hmm. So if he just goes and takes Huron's capital, then he'll probably get enough war score to white piece that one as well. Um, to, it was pretty smart tactics. It took him a while to work out that <laughs> he spent a lot of time fighting the, the, the Choctaw and then realized it was a complete waste of time um, and then sent his entire army north. That makes but, a lot of sense, yeah. I mean, his victory condition was definitely getting Choctaw out of that war. As soon as that happens, then he's back in. Uh, exactly. Hello. Hello. Uh, AI Inca declared war on my co and I can't enforce peace. And my colony is really weak, so it can't defend itself. Uh, did your colony not call you in? No. Why is this happening? It was a surprise. Brazil said to me, Inca. Because that, I don't think, should count as a colonial war, because they're not a colonial nation. It does their capitals in the in a colonial area. That's, oh. that, that's the determining rule. Uh, in that case, get a coalition, then... Oh, no, you can't declare war on Inca, because they're protected. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see the problem. Um, get revenge next time. Teach him to set his AI settings. Sure. I mean, I can't check the enforced piece right now, because I've got this stupid joining box. Once that's gone, I'll take a look for myself. Yeah, Brazil is going to try, but I can't, so maybe Brazil will, will do it. Because we've had this problem before when it was Spain. Yeah. What's going on with vassals and things at the moment? Because we had the massive war against Russia where they declared war on Finland, and Finland did not call Russia in. Yeah. So, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, there is definitely something busted somewhere, somehow. Yeah, that's so. I'm going. Yeah, I'll get Poet to have a word with you uh, when I work out what's going on. Sure. Oh, come on, start the game already. I want to check this. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so Delhi should be able to enforce peace. I can. Where is he? No, he's... Um. Hey, it's me again. So, Hello. from my perspective, I can enforce peace. I can't. So I can't just... click the confirm button. So, you're clicking on Inca, right? Yeah. Enforce peace. Yeah. Then you're clicking on the uh, nation. So, under enemies... There's oh, yours. wait, yeah, no, I can. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that problem has been solved. I have a feeling that's what Spain was doing as well. But we're getting there.